Hi everyone, in this video, I will continue and I will show you the design and analysis of the deep foundation focus on the work example to get the end bearing capacity QP. So this is an example number one by using the Mayhoff method for estimating the QP. Example number one, as you can see here, we have a concrete pile with 16 meter long right and the cross section is 410 mm times with the 410 mm the file is fully embedded in sand so this is sand which have the unit weight and also the angle of friction so you need to calculate the end bearing load qp by Meyerhoff methods okay so the step of solution firstly we need to identify the equation to be used since in this case as you can see here that the c cohesion is not given so it's understood that sand for the granular material the c cohesion will equal to zero how they get the c value is actually from the shear strength parameter that got from the uh, triazole test for example or from the direct shear box all right so this is the general equation so we have the qp is equivalent to area p times with the small letter qp here so you can get this equation all right and then when we have the c equal to zero so we will know that the first term here that c prime times with the n subscript star c here will become to zero so at the end we only have this term okay so now we need to identify the bearing capacity factor and star subscript q right to identify this one we will refer to the angle of friction so as given in the question the angle of friction is 30 degree so we can use this table all right to get the value of the n subscript q star for the 30 degree angle of friction so as you can see here the value is 56.7 so we already have one of the parameter okay now the next step so you can calculate the qp right the qp by using this equation all right so let's continue so we already have this parameter and then we can use all the information that we have for example here ap here this is for the ap so this is for the ap the area of the pile tip okay meter square and then this is for q prime the unit weight times with the length of the piles and then this is the bearing capacity factor all right, so once we have all the information, this is 17 and the length is 16 meter. All right, so you can get the QP is 29, sorry, 2593. Okay. But then we need to check with the limitation. Remember that we have this limitation that it should be less or equal with the AP times QL. So this is the QL for the limits. All right, so we calculate the QP equivalent to AP times QL and then compare with the QP that have been calculated in step number three. So this is the equation to get the QL, small letter Q. So 0 0.5 PAN Q star tangent angle of friction. So PA is the atmospheric pressure, which is 100 kN per meter square. And then we, we, we will use that tangent angle of friction is tangent 30. So we substitute all the information. As you can see here, this is for the area. This is 0 0.5. This is the PA. This is the bearing capacity factor. And this is for tangent angle of friction. So this is the value for the limitation. So when we compare, okay, at step number 3 with the limitation, so the the requirement it should be equal or less all right so final qp should be taken as 275 kilo newton right so this is example number one and then now we have example two 
So consider a pipe pile. Okay, this is the pipe pile, meaning that meaning that the cross section in a circular a form. All right. So having a an outside diameter is four o six meter. All right. So the diameter is four o six millimeter, and it's embedded in layered saturated clay 30 meter the length of file pile l is 30 meter all right so also given the details of the unit weight and also the cohesion and drain cohesion here for different depths from the ground surface okay mention also the groundwater table is located at the depth of 5 meter from the ground surface so we need to calculate the qp here by using Mayerhoff methods okay so identify equation to be used all right it's already mentioned that the clay and there is no value of angle of friction so understood that the angle of friction will equal to zero again that one's from the triaxial test uh, information Okay, to get the shear strength parameter. And then we will use this equation for the clay soil. And then uh, for the pipe pile here, so the area is circular cross section. So this is the equation pi d square over 4 is the equation used to get the area. Now, as you can see here, that we have three value of. CU or undrained cohesion. So we need to identify which value that we will use. Remember that this QP is at the tip. We have the length of the pile is 30 meter. So from the surface to the 30 meter, look at the cohesion undrained. So you can see here that the tip of the pile, okay, the tip of the pile of 30 meter is resting on a clay with the Cohesion and drain is 100 kN per meter square. Then once we know the cohesion and drain, so you can calculate the QP straightforward by substitute all the numbers here. We have the 9, C is 100 and this is the area of the pipe pile, pi d square over 4. So this is the value for the QP, 117 kilo. Newton. And this is the last example for the Mayerhoff method for estimating QP. Alright, so now what we have here is consider a concrete pile that has the cross sections is 0 0.305 meter times 0 0.305 meter in sand and the pile is 15.2 meter long. And given is the variations of the N value. Alright, so this is the SPTN value. Alright, so the data from the ground surface is 1.5 meter up to 21 meter below the ground surface. So there are a series of SPTN value. So which N value that we will need to use to get the QP? Alright, so the first step equation to be used is based on the SPT result. So we will use the SPTN value. So we will have this equation. Alright, so we will have this equation. N16 or N value here. Alright, so make sure that we have the limits here. Okay, on the right side is the limit and on the left side is the value to get the QP. To get in a capital letter, don't forget to times with the area. Alright, so how to get the N value? Alright, so we need to identify the N value to be used. Again, if you look at here that we need to get the average of the standard penetrations or the N value. Alright, near the pile point, about 10D above and 4D below the pile point. Alright, so now we have the pi length 15.2 meter. Okay, look at the data here. Where is the location? So 15.2 is roughly around here. Okay, 
All right, so we have the n here is around 28, 29. So is that enough to use these two value? So what we have, we need to get the average n value about 10d above and 4d below the point. Okay, 10d above, all right, 10d above and 4d below. Okay, so we need to identify first uh, for 10d. So 10d is about 3.05. Meter D is the diameter of the um, pile. Since we have like square cross section, so it will consider as a D, also consider as a D, which is 0 0.305 meter. Okay, so 10D is about 3.05 meter and 4D is about 1.22 meter. Okay, now when we want to know what is the 10 meet D above the point. So we need to know 10 D above. So that's why we have the length 15.2. We minus with the 10 D. So we know that is 12.15. Right? right? So it's roughly starting from here. Okay. Because we have 12 meter with N17. And then to get 4D below the point, so we have the length of the paths, 15.2 plus with 1.22, so we have 16.42. Alright, so it's roughly around here. Okay, we have 16.5 here. Right, so 16.4 is including in this area. Alright. So that is 10D above and 4D below, meaning that we have four N values that we need to consider to get an average. Okay, now we can get the average 17, 20 plus 28 and 29. So divide by 4, we round up and then we will have the N average is 24. Okay, so now once we have the N value average, so we can calculate the QP, capital letter Q, subscript P, by using that equation. So don't forget to times with the area. So this is for the area, 0 0.4, this is the PA, this is the N average, and this is the LND. So you will have 4451 kN. And we need to compare with the limits. Alright, so this is the limit. Okay, so to get the QP using the limit equation. So this is for AP, this is for 4, this is for PA, and this is for N value. Okay, so we have 893 kilonewton. So compare with the previous one, 4451 with 893, the requirement it should less than or equal to 890, means that the QP it should 893 kilo newton. That's all for the Meyerhoff methods for different uh, work example to estimate the end bearing pile capacity. Thank you.